This one might get a little controversial. We'll see. There are strongholds out there stuck in people's minds that catching bass, keeping them, and eating them is wrong. A stronghold is just something that people have in their brain because somebody told them or because they were told something enough times and then they start to believe it and they pass that down to the next generation, so on and so forth. In many ways, those people are correct. Catching bass and keeping them can be wrong in certain situations. But in other situations, it can benefit ecosystems, it can help people learn about preserving nature and being responsible in the outdoors. So I've got three reasons why you should keep and eat bass. Here we go. Reason number one, prevent stunted growth. Let me share a great example with you. I fish one particular lake that I can think of where it's just loaded with bass. And I mean loaded, like you throw your bait over a boat almost every time you get a bite. And it's not always a good thing simply because it's loaded with fish so much that all the bass are stunted. The majority of the fish in that lake, as far as bass are concerned, are between 10 and 15 inches. And that's not a good size class as your average. There was one time I fished this lake for like an hour and I swore I must have caught 30 to 40 bass. The biggest one I caught was 15 inches and it was just one or two of them. Every other bass I caught was between 10 and 12 inches. They're stunted and that's not good for the lake. So if you take fish out of that lake, if you harvest a few bass and somebody else comes and harvests a few bass, it's actually going to improve the overall quality of the lake because there won't be as many fish competing for the same amount of food, which will allow each fish to have more food individually and grow to a bigger size, not only in weight, but in length. Most of the time when a lake has that problem, it's because there's too many bass in the lake, not enough are being taken out and it creates this system of stunted bass year after year after year. Take fish out of the lake if you fish in a small lake like that. Reason number two. Other fish, particularly panfish, will benefit from having larger size bass in that lake or river overall. When bass get big, panfish normally get big. I'm not going to throw a whole bunch of data at you or refer you to this study by some biologist from 10 years ago or whatever because that's boring, but if you talk to a biologist, they will tell you the same thing I'm about to tell you. Wherever you find large bass in a lake, you normally find large panfish in that same lake because it balances each other out. When you go pan fishing sometime and you start catching really big bluegills, if you've got time or you feel like it, switch over and try catching some bass. I bet you'll catch big bass as well. It happens all the time. At the same time, if you're catching nothing but little bluegill after bluegill after bluegill or crappie or perch or whatever you're catching, you're probably going to catch a lot of small bass as well. They go hand in hand they balance each other out. It's the natural way of having a healthy ecosystem in the lake. So it really helps other fish grow to their potential. When I'm catching eight plus inch bluegills, like nice ones, all the way up to 10 inches, I'm normally catching really nice bass, 18 up to 20 or more than that inches. So try it out. If you go pan fishing sometime and you have a lot of luck catching really nice pan fish, not numbers, but quality size, like seven and a half, eight, nine, even 10 inch bluegills or whatever it is, maybe it could be crappies too. Go and switch to bass fishing and you'll probably find that the bass are really good quality too. Reason number three, bass taste good. Now stop. Before you walk away, before you say, this guy's crazy, bass don't taste good, let me clarify. Smaller bass between 14 and 16 inches, they have to be 14 inches in Wisconsin in most cases to keep, but smaller bass usually taste better than larger bass. So if you've eaten like a 20 inch bass or something, it's probably not gonna taste very good. Here's a couple reasons why you might not think bass don't taste good. One, because somebody told them they shouldn't because they taste bad. Two, they've never had them cooked properly for them. Or three, they can't cook at all. And in some cases, people don't like fish at all, therefore they don't like bass. But if you like walleye, perch, bluegill, crappie, northern, you'll like bass if it's prepared properly, I promise you. So let me clarify my position even more. I'm not saying you should catch and keep every single bass. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that if you do it under the right circumstances, it's actually a good thing. And it seems to be two schools of thought. There are people that think you should catch and keep every single thing. There are people that think you should keep stuff and never throw anything back because that's the waste. If it's legal, it goes back with me home. And that can be wrong too because you can really danger the fishery for years to come. At the same time, you've got the other people, and this is a completely divided issue for some reason. I'm not sure why it shouldn't and it doesn't have to be. But there are people that say you never, ever, ever keep bass. It's a sport fish. It doesn't belong going in the cooler. It doesn't even taste good. You're wrecking the fishery. You're screwing up the whole ecosystem. Bass are meant to stay in the water so every other fish gets bigger. And that's simply not 
not true. The data doesn't say that. Biologists will tell you differently. I know from experience that's not true. I've been fishing since I was a little kid and I've caught thousands of bass and I can tell you exactly that when I go to a fishery, when I go to a body of water, let's just say that, I can tell you how healthy the body of water is by the average class of bluegills and bass. I can figure that out within an hour or two of catching fish and tell you if it's good or not just by the size class I'm getting overall. When you catch bass that are between 14 and 16 inches over and over and over and you're not getting bigger, but you're only getting smaller. That's like your biggest size bass, 14 to 16 inches. I'm telling you, it's not necessarily a really unhealthy body of water but it's not a great one so keeping a bass here and there is not a big deal it's not gonna hurt anything it's only gonna help it in the future and for some reason people feel like they need to control other people's actions all the time I've noticed this especially in the Facebook fishing groups I'm in some of them I'm just like oh my goodness why am I part of this group but it's not the group necessarily it's got a few bad apples and I'm sure you know exactly what I mean if you're in Facebook groups, there's always four or five, the same people that rip on other people and put them down for their actions, even though they don't know exactly what the situation was to begin with. Let me give you an example. I don't remember, but it was some kind of fishing thing. And a guy posted some pictures of him and his son catching fish. And it was the first time his son really got into some decent bass. And for a little kid who's like 10, you know, catching a couple 14, 15, 16 inch bass is a lot of fun. It's a good challenge. And it's great for that kid. It's great for the dad to see that. He kept a couple of them, posted it on there and said oh these are going to taste good tonight or whatever and there was so much hate in that post i couldn't believe it i'm surprised the person who moderates the group didn't kick those people out or send them warnings and maybe they did i just didn't hear about it but they were saying nasty things like you're teaching your kid to do the wrong thing bass are sport fish only they're not meant to be eaten as if they know all of this and they've done all these studies and they have information about it. It was crazy. And there's a lot of things they said in there I'm never going to repeat, especially on camera to you all. But it just goes to show how naive people are, how arrogant they are, and how controlling people want to be over other people's actions. If you want to catch fish knowing that you're doing the right thing for the ecosystem. You're teaching other people how to do things properly, ethically and you're gonna eat the fish that you harvest. If you do all those things and you cook it, and you have a nice meal and you bring it home and you're providing for your family or you're showing a young kid how to be responsible in the outdoors or you're giving it to a neighbor who's never been able to fish before, there's nothing wrong with that. And this is a contentious issue. There's so many people that hate the idea of catching bass and keeping them but just let me tell you, if you're a person who likes to keep a bass every now and then, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't let people bully you on social media and push their opinions on you. If they don't want to keep bass, they don't have to. If you want to keep bass, do it. Here's the bottom line. Kind of going off on a tangent here. If you want to keep bass, it should be done under the circumstances of increasing the quality of the waters you're fishing. While at the same time, enjoying the harvest and being thankful for the memories and the opportunity that you just had by catching the fish in the first place. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you learned something new. See you next time.